Greetings and welcome to our exploration of the timeless principles that define the communication style of high-value guys. We frequently envision people who are self-assured, speak with purpose, and treat everyone with respect. But what truly distinguishes them in conversations, especially with women, is their depth of emotional control and unwavering dedication to their values. In this video, we'll explore the Stoic-inspired approach to dialogue. In this video, we'll cover five powerful lessons that demonstrate how high-value men talk to women in a genuine, respectful, and impactful way. Stoicism is a philosophy that some of history's greatest leaders, including Marcus Aurelius and Serbia, practiced. It teaches us that how we carry ourselves, our words, our presence, and our respect for others can create meaningful connections without compromising who we are. By embracing these lessons, anyone can learn how to communicate with the kind of authenticity and confidence that naturally draws others in. These lessons will help you become a better conversationalist and a more grounded person. So let's get started and discover what makes a high-value man. These lessons aren't about tricks or manipulating emotions. Rather, they're about harnessing timeless wisdom that enables you to be present, intentional, and true to yourself. Whether your goal is to boost your confidence, strengthen your relationships, or simply communicate more effectively, these lessons will help you become a more grounded person. Really stand out. Lesson 1. Confidence via Ability In this section, we'll talk about how guys who value themselves develop internal confidence derived from stoicism, as opposed to relying on outside validation. A man of integrity understands that genuine confidence comes from being rooted in his principles and beliefs, rather than from trying to impress or win others over. When speaking, a man who possesses this inner steadiness speaks confidently avoids over-elaboration or exaggeration, and is at ease with quiet and pays. Point out how Stoics like Marcus Aurelius instilled the value of self-control and the need to concentrate on one's own power in this situation. Practical instances of confidence stemming from clarity and control over one's emotions, rather than outside influences, include accepting criticism and praise with grace and moving on without allowing it to impact one's sense of self-worth. Active listening as a sign of respect in Lesson 2. The second section will examine how high-value men value listening over speaking, which is consistent with the Stoic practice of valuing observation and understanding. This approach demonstrates genuine interest and respect, because listening enables one to fully understand others before expressing one's own viewpoint. Epictetus, who promoted understanding before responding, will highlight how listening fosters trust, and a sense of security, an elevated value. Without trying to interrupt with his own ideas right away, the man is totally engaged in the conversation, giving the woman a sense of being heard. One of the useful suggestions will be to keep eye contact. Asking insightful follow-up questions and nodding in agreement demonstrate his interest in and appreciation for what she has to say. Lesson 3. Speaking with Focus and Accuracy in this lesson, we will examine the technique of speaking with intention, which is based on stoicism. High-value males. They choose their words carefully in order to bring worth or meaning to the encounter. This isn't about being too serious. Rather, it's about valuing both of their time by providing insights that are real, relevant, and sincere. They steer clear of filler talk and superfluous words. Examples of high-value men avoiding gossip, boasting, and talking about shallow subjects are provided in this section. Instead, they strive for depth and clarity that are consistent with stoic qualities like honesty and truthfulness. Additionally, we'll talk about doable strategies to make sure his remarks reflect his ideals, urging him to steer clear of forced flattery and meaningless praise in favor of sincere observations or discoveries. Lesson 4 Respect for oneself and boundaries are important. A man who understands and has the guts to uphold his own boundaries communicates the way that Stoic teachings urge people to uphold their morals in the face of social pressures or other expectations will be discussed in this section. This moral fortitude comes instinctively. Garner is respected because he values himself and won't lower his standards to gain acceptance. 
utilizing the Stoic concepts of self-mastery and autonomy. This lesson will demonstrate how high-value men respectfully but assertively communicate their needs and boundaries. For example, if a conversation veers into awkward or disrespectful territory, a high-value man has no problem gently rerouting it or apologizing if necessary. It will also include examples of how he can effectively communicate his boundaries, fostering respect, and drawing in people who value his strong sense of self. 5. Emotional Regulation and Serenity We'll talk about the significance of emotional poise in the last part, which is essential to both stoicism and high values. Instead of letting feelings like rage, jealousy, or frustration control his interactions, instead, a high-value guy approaches discussions with composure and steadiness. This emotional control does not imply that he is emotionless. Rather, it indicates that he is able to manage his emotions sensibly and use them constructively, drawing on the stoic concept of apatha or freedom from damaging emotions. We'll examine how high-value guys remain composed under pressure and during emotional interactions. Practical tips will include mindfulness techniques to remain calm, even if the other person becomes agitated, and strategies to avoid arguments by shifting focus to understanding rather than reacting. This calm presence creates a positive atmosphere and makes him someone others are naturally drawn to as he embodies stability and understanding conclusion as we wrap up. It's clear that being a high-value man isn't just about charisma or clever words. It's about character composure and commitment to one's values. When we apply the wisdom of Stoicism to our interactions, we create deeper, more authentic connections that don't rely on pretense or charm alone. High-value men are respected. Not because they try to impress, but because they approach every conversation with presence, respect, and integrity by embodying these Stoic INSPIR-IRED principles. You can transform the way you interact with women and everyone around you listening intently, speaking with purpose, respecting boundaries, and maintaining emotional balance are traits that don't just make others respect you. They make you respect yourself, and that inner respect grounded in self-mastery and purpose is what others truly recognize as high value. Thank you for joining us on this journey into Stoicism and high-value communication. Keep in mind, that every discussion is a chance to show who you are and what you stand for. If you find this content helpful, think about subscribing for additional insights on personal development and stoicism. Learns to connect authentically, talk clearly, and live with purpose. The most important lesson here is to emphasize teamwork. One-sided relationships are not genuine partnerships since a strong relationship is based on the contributions of both sides. Identify the warning flags early on and decide to devote your time to rewarding reciprocal relationships. If you notice that she is not putting forth much effort, it's a hint that her priorities may be found elsewhere in these situations. Instead of arguing or pleading for attention, a stoic man values his time and moves on. The goal is to create relationships that bring mutual joy and growth, not ones where you feel depleted or undervalued all the time. Instead of justifying her behavior, or thinking that things will change with more work on your part. Take a step back and watch her actions rather than her words. A woman who values you will naturally try to be a part of your life without you having to persuade her. In this situation, the stoic practice of detachment becomes essential because by letting go of expectations and concentrating on your own actions, you maintain control over your emotional health. Keep in mind that effort and respect are the cornerstones of any healthy relationship. If they are absent, it's a red flag to reevaluate your level of engagement. We just looked at five actions that make it obvious that a woman doesn't value you. Identifying these indicators is about obtaining clarity and knowledge, not about placing blame or harboring animosity. Understanding these patterns helps you safeguard your emotional health and make sure that you only devote your time and energy to meaningful and respectful relationships. Stoicism teaches us to observe, reflect, and make decisions based on what is consistent with our core values. When you notice these behaviors in a relationship, it's a sign to reevaluate and possibly refocus your energies towards something more fulfilling.
A stoic man prioritizes himself, not out of ego, but rather from a profound awareness that his time and energy are finite resources that should be used wisely. Keep in mind that it's not about altering or demanding respect from others. Rather, it's about realizing your own value and making the decision to leave circumstances that do not advance your happiness and personal development. You have the ability to choose the types of relationships you wish to foster. We appreciate you seeing, and if this video spoke to you, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more posts on STO self-improvement and ISM. Remain resilient, loyal, and stoic at all times. Comprehending these indicators. Number 4. Having lively discussions. The desire of a woman to have meaningful talks with you is one of the most obvious indicators that she is secretly drawn to you. When someone is truly interested in you, they will often look for chances to engage in conversation that goes beyond casual encounters. In the context of attraction, these exchanges operate as a springboard for more profound comprehension and emotional bonding. Psychologically stimulating conversations are a strong sign of rapport and shared interest. When a lady is interested in you, she will probably start or enthusiastically join in conversations that delve into your ideas, passions, and experiences. She can share her own opinions and feelings while also learning about your ideals and personality, thanks to this active interaction. Interpersonal Communication Study emphasizes how crucial meaningful conversations are to fostering connections. According to studies, having candid and interesting talks can greatly increase people's emotions of intimacy and attraction to one another. When someone takes the time and makes the effort to talk about subjects they both find interesting, it shows that they want to build a lasting relationship. From a stoic standpoint, having discussions that go beyond surface-level encounters is consistent with the values of virtue and comprehension. By participating in meaningful interactions, Stoicism encourages us to have intelligent conversations that foster growth and learning for both parties. Additionally, the nature of these conversations can disclose subtle indications of attraction. Pay attention to her body language, tone of voice, and the topics she chooses to discuss. You show respect for her intellect and emotions by building a bond based on shared interests and beliefs. A lady who is secretly drawn to you could exhibit symptoms of excitement, attentive listening, and sincere interest in your ideas and viewpoints. These nonverbal clues enhance spoken communication by offering more levels of understanding of her emotions. Over time, you can strengthen your bond with her by practically cultivating interesting conversations that give you the chance to discover shared interests, exchange personal anecdotes, and develop emotional intimacy. By appreciating these exchanges and responding to her interest with sincere curiosity and attentiveness, you lay the groundwork for a meaningful and satisfying relationship. In the complex dance of attraction, the fifth subtle gesture. When a woman is secretly drawn to you, she may express her sentiments through small but meaningful gestures that show warmth, concern, and a yearning for intimacy. Subtle gestures frequently reveal volumes about unsaid feelings. When someone is attracted to you, they may display gestures like gentle touches, playful nudges, or thoughtful actions like remembering small details about you. These actions are subtle indicators of her affection and a desire to form a bond. These gestures go beyond words and provide insights into her emotional state and her interest in connecting with you. Psychologically subtle gestures play a crucial role in nonverbal communication that influences how individuals perceive and respond to each other. Social psychology study emphasizes how important nonverbal clues are for attraction and establishing relationships. According to studies, even small gestures like a kind pat on the arm or a gesture of encouragement can increase people's sense of closeness and connection. From a stoic standpoint, Identifying and appreciating subtle gestures is consistent with the concepts of mindfulness and awareness. These gestures convey empathy, understanding, and a readiness to build emotional closeness. Stoicism urges us to pay attention to and comprehend the feelings and intentions of behind. By appreciating and returning these actions with warmth and sincerity, you can cultivate a pleasant and enriching relationship that is founded on deeper connections based on mutual respect and genuine interest. 
By seeing how she interacts with you in various contexts and being aware of the context in which these gestures occur, you may practically read her emotions and respond appropriately. A woman who is secretly attracted to you may express her feelings for you with small gestures of physical intimacy or compassion, showing that she wants to deepen your relationship. In conclusion, small gestures are a potent indicator of a woman's covert attraction. By paying attention to and responding to these nonverbal clues, which convey her intents and feelings and provide insightful information about them, you can cultivate a closer bond based on true affection and mutual understanding of emotional intimacy. Accept these fleeting moments of connection since they could indicate a developing bond and the possibility of a meaningful relationship in the future. The sixth indicator is emotional openness, which goes beyond casual discussion to include a deeper degree of expressing personal ideas, feelings, and experiences. When a woman is secretly drawn to you, this is one of the signals that frequently shows up. When someone feels drawn to you, they may feel comfortable sharing details of their lives that they wouldn't normally share with others. These could include talking about their dreams, fears, past experiences, or even their desires to connect on a meaningful level. Emotional openness is a significant indicator of trust and a desire to connect on a meaningful level. Social psychology research on vulnerabilities emphasizes that emotional disclosure promotes intimacy and increases the satisfaction of relationships. Research has indicated that couples who share emotional experiences and have deep conversations are more likely to have enduring relationships. From a stoic standpoint, this openness fosters empathy and a sense of mutual understanding, two qualities that are essential to building a strong bond. Adopting emotional transparency is consistent with vulnerability and authenticity concepts. By establishing a secure environment for emotional expression and carefully listening without passing judgment, Stoicism promotes sincerity in our interactions and the development of empathy for others. You show that you are prepared to comprehend and meet her emotional demands. Practically observe how she interacts with you. Does she ask for your opinion on delicate topics or share personal stories? Does she feel comfortable talking about her feelings and expressing them openly? These are indications that she respects your viewpoint and has enough faith in you to confide in you, suggesting a possible romantic interest. In conclusion, emotional openness is a potent indicator of a woman's hidden attraction. It shows that she is open to developing a closer bond based on empathy, trust, and understanding. By creating a safe space for emotional expression and showing compassion in return, you can cultivate a profound connection rooted in sincerity and emotional closeness. Accept these times of openness as chances to deepen your relationship and consider the possibility of a satisfying relationship. Number 7. Polite Interaction The last indication that a lady might be secretly drawn to you is if she engages in polite dialogue and exchanges. When someone is attracted to you, they typically treat you with more respect and concern in their interactions, which goes beyond simple politeness and encompasses a sincere interest in your views, opinions, and general well-being. Respectful interaction is evident. She may demonstrate her appreciation for your opinions and viewpoints by actively listening when you speak, maintaining eye contact, and demonstrating genuine curiosity about your life and interests. She may also recall specifics you have previously discussed and bring them up in subsequent conversations. Engaging in psychologically polite behavior shows attention and regard. According to social psychology research, people often imitate the actions of others they find beautiful, such as being respectful and paying attention. From a stoic perspective, this conduct promotes mutual respect and appreciation and helps build good rapport. Respectful interaction is consistent with interpersonal ethics and virtue standards. Stoicism places a strong emphasis on treating people with respect and decency, regardless of their position or relationship to us, by showing consideration for her feelings and thoughts in your interactions. You build a foundation of understanding and respect for one another. Essentially take note of how she interacts with you in various contexts and whether she contributes actively to discussions. Ask insightful questions and demonstrate interest in your viewpoints. Does she treat you with respect and consideration in both public and private settings? 
In conclusion, these actions show that she appreciates your company and relishes engaging with you more deeply. A woman's secret interest might be subtly but significantly revealed through polite interaction. It shows her adoration and interest in developing a meaningful relationship with you, based on respect and sincere communication. By returning the favor with empathy, respect, and attentiveness, you foster an atmosphere that is conducive to a deeper emotional bond and perhaps romantic commitment. In conclusion, recognize these subtle indicators of attraction and take advantage of them as chances to deepen your connection and consider the possibility of a happy partnership. Enable you to handle relationships with more awareness and tact. Each of these indicators, which have their roots in stoic ideals and psychology science, provides insight into the complex language of human connection. Deeper connections can be cultivated by carefully observing and reacting to these indications. Mutual understanding and meaningful relationships. Keep in mind that human interactions are complicated and that these indicators are not always reliable. Someone to see if they're consistent and genuine. The Stoics emphasized using logic and reason, not just being carried away by emotions in relationships. This approach is crucial when emotions dominate. We may overlook important details, but when we combine our feelings with a dose of skepticism and logical thinking, we enable ourselves to see things more clearly. And here's another important aspect. It's about safeguarding your heart by maintaining a bit of skepticism. You're not rushing into something without certainty. You're allowing yourself the opportunity to grasp the true nature of the other person rather than projecting your desires onto them. So let's, let's keep in mind the importance of adopting a hint of stoic skepticism. It's about being intelligent, attentive, and not letting emotions carry us away. It's about protecting ourselves and our emotional well-being. It's not about shutting ourselves off, but about approaching new opportunities with careful consideration and wisdom. Saying no with confidence in stoicism is lesson eight. It's crucial to uphold your morals and have the courage to be authentic. This is particularly important when it comes to saying no in relationships because it shows that you understand your values and don't hesitate to uphold your standards even if doing so causes some disruption. For example, let's say you're in a relationship and your partner makes a proposal that doesn't sit well with you. It could be moving too fast or asking you to do something that goes against your morals. The simple choice may appear to be in line with it, but this is where your stoic attitude comes into play. In these circumstances, saying no is all about respecting your boundaries, your convictions, and yourself. This isn't easy, let's face it. It can be really difficult particularly if you care for the person that little voice in your brain keeps. What if saying no makes them leave? But here's the thing. We need to find the confidence to do it. Stoicism isn't simply about handling external issues. It's also about addressing our internal conflicts. Saying no outright is all about showing that you value yourself and won't settle for anything less than what you deserve. Granted, there's a chance you could lose them, but the key is that if turning down something that goes against your principles drives someone away, maybe they weren't the right fit for you in the first place. Using this strategy can really change the dynamics of a relationship when someone sees that you're not afraid to say no and that you won't compromise your morals to appease them. It alters their perception of you and shows that you value and respect yourself, which is really appealing, let me tell you. This is an additional stoic viewpoint. Saying no isn't just about setting boundaries with other people. It's also about being honest with yourself. Identifying and adhering to your true needs and desires in a relationship. And avoiding letting your fear of loneliness lead you to make decisions that aren't in line with who you really are. Let's take a moment to think about this and affirm that saying no is not only acceptable, but also necessary. It's about remaining true to ourselves and living with integrity, as the Stoics stressed. It's about fostering relationships based on mutual respect and genuine connection, rather than fear and concession. Lesson 9. Never chase value, always value. This ties in nicely with what we've been discussing in Lesson 9, especially when viewed from a Stoic standpoint. Stoicism encourages us to let go of the things we cannot control, and to focus on the things we can. This concept has a significant impact on how we view relationships, 
because it makes us realize that chasing someone who is going away from us is not only pointless, but also goes against our sense of self-worth. Consider this scenario. We've all had the natural want to chase after someone we're dating, to try to close the distance when they start to, 